Welcome to Creating a Package Using an MSI. In this lecture, we'll create a package using XML Notepad. First, we'll need to find and test our install and uninstall commands. Because the program is an MSI, we'll use MSI Exec for the install command. And here's the install command, msiexec.exe forward slash i for install, then xmlnotepad.msi forward slash qn for a quiet installation. I found the install command on this website. Let's go out and check it out. For the install command, I just had to change xmlnotepadsetup.msi to xmlnotepad.msi to match my installer. For the uninstall command, you'll need to have the product installed to find the uninstall command. For the uninstall string, it looks like the author is using the product code. So I'll have to use regedit to locate an updated product code that will work with my version of the program. There are two places in the registry I can check for the uninstall string for my program. Considering this is a 32-bit application running on a 64-bit operating system, I'll check in the WOW 6432 for the uninstall string. I'll go ahead and open regedit now and browse through the local machine, software, WOW 6432 node, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and uninstall. And there's a whole list of product codes. So I had to click each of these till I found the correct uninstall string. So here's our uninstall command. From the website, I added the following parameters, forward slash x for uninstall and qn for quiet or silent uninstall. Now here's my uninstall command, msiexec.exe forward slash x, and then our product code, then forward slash qn. Now copy both of these commands to Notepad. You should test your install and uninstall command lines from an admin level command prompt before you deploy them out to your infrastructure. Let's go ahead and open an admin level command prompt and test our command lines. Go ahead and change to the source folder where the program resides. Now, copy and paste the install command, msiexec.exe forward slash i xmlnotepad.msi forward slash qn and press return. After a minute, if you click Start and check the programs, you'll see XML Notepad 2007. Now let's check the uninstall command. Now, paste the uninstall command into your command prompt. And press Return. After a minute, if you click Start and check the program, you'll see XML Notepad 2007 is no longer there. Now let's go ahead and create our package. From the software library, application management, right click packages. Then click create package. From package name, type XML notepad. Check, this package contains source files. Then click browse. Then enter the UNC path for the XML notepad.msi program. Then click Browse. Click Select Folder, then click OK, then click Next. From Program Type, choose Standard Program, then click Next. From Standard Program, name, type XML Notepad install.
From command line, paste the install command. From run, select hidden. From program can run whether or not the user is logged on. Then click Next. From Requirements, Platform Requirements, you could choose to run on Windows 10 only, but in this case we'll choose this program can run on any platform. For Estimated Disk Space, set to 10 megabytes. Set the maximum runtime to 15 minutes. Then click Next. Then click Next again. Then click Close. Now right click on the XML Notepad package and click Distribute Content. Then click Next. From Content Destination, click Add. Click Distribution Point. Then choose your distribution point. Then click OK. Click Next. Then click Next again. Then click Close. Now right click on the program and click Deploy. Click Browse. Then select Software to deploy. Then select XML Notepad install. Then click OK. From Collection, click Browse and choose Windows 10 Laptops. Then click OK. Then click Next, then Next again. For purpose, we'll choose Required. This will automatically install the program. Then click Next. From Scheduling, then click New and assign immediately after this event. You could schedule a time for install, but in this case, we want to install the software as soon as possible. From Rerun Behavior, you can choose if you want to rerun the deployment. Choose Rerun if failed previous attempt. Then click Next. From User Experience, click Software Installation. Then click Next. From Distribution Points, choose Download Content from Distribution Point and Run Locally. From Deployment Options, if the network is really slow, you can choose to not run the program. Then click Next. Then Next again. Then click Close. Now from the Software Center of the Windows 10 computer, because I chose Required, the program should automatically install. You can force the installation from the Configuration Manager client Let's go ahead and open the client, then click Actions, then select Machine Policy Retrieval and Evaluation Cycle, and click Run Now. By default, this policy runs every 60 minutes. By running this evaluation cycle, you can force the server to download the policy so the deployment will run much sooner. Click the Start button and you should see XML Notepad in the list. 